We're beginning to feel the effects of global warming. The polar ice caps are melting, the seasons are changing. In little over a hundred years, mankind has affected the entire biochemistry of a planet. It's the single greatest accomplishment of the human race. We're using fossil fuels millions of times faster than nature makes fossil fuel. If we just keep doing what we're doing, the lights go out in a few hundred years. Solar power and wind are intermittent. Photosynthesis has very low efficiency. Getting 10 terawatts from solar cells require an array of 220,000 square kilometers. Making hydrogen uses more fossil fuel for power than burning the fossil fuel itself. Renewables suffer from low density. They aren't where you need them in concentration. There are no earthly technologies that can solve the world energy problem. The sun is the biggest fusion reactor and the biggest producer of helium-3. 40 tons of helium-3 would provide all of the electricity that we need in the United States. That is, we could have nuclear energy without nuclear waste. And that is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Well, sunlight is the ultimate resource, but you've got to find a place to collect it. Build bases on the two edges of the moon were arrays that capture sunlight, turn the sunlight into electricity. The electricity is then turned into microwaves that is directed back to Earth. If you have hydrogen and oxygen, you also have the most powerful chemical rocket fuel known. It's basically creating the first offshore filling station. We have oxygen for breathing, we have water that we can make, and we have food. What more do you need? And we can create very Earth-like conditions on the moon. We can be perfectly protected from the hazards of space and live in a shirt sleeve environment. You only need a tiny proportion of the population to go to space to generate a massive industry. We know how to do this stuff. It is not that hard. It ain't rocket science anymore.